those both of us together. How excited are you just to get the season rolling? In? Oh, I'm super excited to see someone else's jersey. I'm tired of throwing against Seth and all these guys that I see every day. I'm really excited to start the season off with Cincinnati and Miami of Ohio. How good can that bullpen be? Uh, it's limitless, honestly. We've got a lot of guys, new guys coming in that people may not necessarily know much about, but I feel like they're going to step up and do a great job, and I think we're all around our pitching staff is going to show up. Last two seasons, there was a Chad Gerardo to Jacob Weaver. Is there a guy in this year's will been like oh, that? Oh, yeah, Vance Tatum. He's going to have a great season for us. He's a power lefty. He's got a great breaking ball, and I think he's going to step into that role and just dominate. You lose two really good hitters in CT and Brett, but a lot of people think this lineup's improved. From your, from your perspective, what do you expect out of that group? I think this lineup has definitely improved. I feel like in the past we've been more of a singles type team. We had to string together three or four hits to get some runs together. But I feel like this team has a great mix of doubles and home runs and also the guys that get on base before then to score. And I think we've got a lot of speed plus the power, and I think we're just going to score more runs than we traditionally have. You said you, your pitches maybe work better as a closer. Why, why do you say that? Uh, well, I have good breaking balls and I can pitch off that. And as a starter, pitching off your breaking ball doesn't set up the bullpen very well because then if you just keep throwing breaking balls, the hitters have seen it all game long. Okay. So I think that with our starters we got now, like Ross and uh, Preston and Lucas and Sexton and maybe Jesse McCord too, that their fastballs are so good. They have so much sync and they have great change-ups. I think that my breaking ball and Vance's breaking ball may be some of the first ones to see all game. So I think that will work to our favor. Right. Thanks, Trevor. This year than maybe this time last year. Definitely more comfortable. I think uh, having a year under your belt is huge. You know, now I can go in and am used to the fans and the media and everything that you have to deal with being a player here at Mississippi State and kind of just get a focus on baseball. You know, and and kind of just go about my business and, and know what I need to focus on and know what to expect. Um, know what SEC pitching is like. Know what I have to do to make adjustments to be successful. How excited are you just to get the season rolling? I'm very excited. I think uh, we're a little bit different team than last year. We, I think we're going to win games in a different way. I think our offense is more well-rounded as far as speed and power and guys that run and guys that are situational type hitters. And, and I'm excited to, to get rolling. Talk about that middle infield. What have you seen so far in scrimmages? Right, I think we got a lot of depth in middle infield. And, you know, losing Brett Pirtle, it's – the guy that you can't replace. You know, he had an unbelievable year for us last year, but I think if you were to tell me to go out and, and get a guy, whether it's junior college or freshman, you know, you, you might not find a better guy than John Holland. Um, I think he's been really impressive in the fall and so far in these eight or nine uh, spring scrimmages, and I'm really excited to see what he can do. He's a great teammate um, and a great baseball player. And then to add on to that, we have, you know, Ryan Gridley, who's a freshman, um, very talented, but he's young. Um, but he's got a lot of ability, and I think he's going to be, whether it's this year, next year, or in the future, going to be a really good player. What's that chemistry been like between you and John there in the middle? Very, very good. He's a great player. He's, in a sense, a similar type player. He's a, he's a grinding mentality, hard worker, um, just, a, just a baseball player, always looking to find the extra base, make, make the next play, you know. Um, and it's something that I respect in him as a player, and um, it's something that I see in myself. And, and I think that's what makes his, our chemistry so great. Trevor was talking a little bit about the offense. What yeah. do you expect in the offense this year? I think I expect us to hit more doubles and home runs. Uh, I think last year at times we struggled with pushing across that run when we needed it. You know, we might get two, maybe even three hits in a season, or excuse me, in an inning, and not be able to push across the run because we get three singles or two singles and stuff like that. And I think now we have the ability with, you know, Brent Rooker and Reed Humphreys coming along and John Holland and stuff like that to be able to get that big hit that, you know, put a ball in the gap and score two or three runs in a minute. The way I'm relieved, it was almost sometimes in the starting role, so it was able to make, easy to make that adjustment. Uh, but, you know, again, it's just going to kind of depend on what the coaches decide and just play off of that. Going to be a lot of new pieces in the bullpen. You lose two All Americans. How has that transition been from some of the guys, Trevor, starting to move into that closing role? Uh, I think it's been great. Uh, you know, we've had a lot of people really step up this you know, fall and spring. Uh, and, you know, you were, people were saying the same thing when other guys have left. Like, who's going to take Chris Triton's role and Kendall did? Who's going to take Kendall's role? And, uh, you know, we had other people do that. And how, so, I mean, you know, I think this year we'll be saying who's going to take the role of this person that just left. So, uh, you know, we don't like to look. We, they were great players and, you know, they were a huge asset to us. But 
uh, we like to believe that we got people that are going to do the same exact thing. And I think we really did. Really well. Heard a couple of guys say this is going to be a different team, especially especially offensively. What what have you seen? Uh, definitely, we can definitely swing the bat this year. Um, you know, uh, Coach Dillon coming, uh, he's really uh, just instilled a lot of uh, confidence and just uh, new ideas to the to the hitters. And uh, you know, I don't really enjoy pitching against them right now. Uh, I don't think anybody on our team does. So uh, we're excited to see how they uh, do against uh, other opponents, uh, and we're really excited. We got a lot of depth and a lot of talent. We're just going to hit the baseball. You know, we're going to be aggressive. We're going to hit extra base hits, and so it's been really a mindset for us this fall, and you know, in the spring too. So the mindset's just saying, you know, get ahead, be aggressive, and, and get your pitch and hit it, and don't miss it. And that's kind of helped a lot. It's, it takes a lot of thinking out of the process and so. Seem like you've done a lot this off season, you know, whether it be going out and playing last summer or you know, even in the fall to kind of have a bounce back year for yourself. Oh yeah, I mean I went out this summer and you know had a good summer, it was a good experience, first healthy summer I've had in a while to be where I can get out and actually go play. So it was good. We were I was healthy finishing last season, so we said you know we're gonna get out and get a couple swings and just kind of refocus and settle in and get back to school and get ready to work. And that's what I did and it helped a lot. How excited are you to? No more intra squad scrimmages and play other opponents. Oh yeah, it's, it's always a good feeling. You get to play somebody else. You know, you play in the same. You know, the guys you're around every day since August. You know, so it's always a great feeling to get out there with another team and compete. It's your fifth year in this program. How much are you approaching the season with how much sense of urgency since your last one? Oh yeah, I mean, you kind of look back on it going into this year, and you know, you say, man, I've been here five years, and I guess the turning point in that is, you know, you kind of look back and say, man, what what all have I gone through? What all have I made adjustments on? What all have I learned? And you kind of take that bit by bit and just say, hey, I'm going to let it all hang out and pour all that into this last year. And that's kind of the mindset I'm, I'm taking going into this year. I had to work on my mental side of just, you know, thinking positive and all, knowing that everything was going to work out. And that I had good coaches and good teammates and just guys who were behind me. And uh, I really feel like that helped out a lot. Reed, when you look at your uh, your role this year, what do you kind of see your role playing out as far as your position? Um, really, I don't really have a set position at this moment. I mean, I might play a little third, maybe first, maybe outfield. I mean, it just depends on where where they need me. I mean, I've worked a lot of different places, and I feel pretty comfortable with that. That kind of explains the whole uh, kind of, I guess, defined a lot of positions on this team. It's a lot of versatile guys in that uh, we do. We got a lot of guys. The coaches have done a good job of bringing in guys, just athletes. So I mean, we got a lot of guys that can go anywhere on the field. I mean, you never, you never really know where somebody's gonna be playing on any given day. So you just kind of got to be ready for that. What's different about this offense that you had to say compared to last year? Um, I guess really we got a lot of guys that can hit doubles and uh, home runs. They're just, just threats, you know, up and down the lineup. Whether it's not striking out a lot and just competing in each at bat, or whether it's um, just, I guess, having some power and um, any pitch could be hit out of the ballpark. So, I mean, we got a lot of guys that have done a great job of that. Most impressive newcomer to you? I really, I don't even have anybody I can really say. They've all really impressed me a lot. Uh, There's a couple guys. From John Holland, I mean, he's he's done a great job of coming in and just, I mean, every time that guy picks up a bat, I'm like, this dude's unreal. He never, he, he can't miss his barrel. And he, doesn't matter who's pitching, he's going to hit it. Two toughest pitchers for you to face and scrimmage so far. Uh, Preston Brown's done a great job, and I guess you always got to give it to Ross Mitchell. He finds a way to be effective. Preston just complimented you and said that you uh, do a good job of laying off all the junk that he throws in and waiting for the good pitch. How much have you grown as a hitter, you know, with your eye, your, your pitch selection? Um, I feel like really that just comes with uh, just trying not to do too much. And Coach Dillon does a great job of just kind of, you know, working us through the process of you don't want to try to do too much. I mean, he kind of just tells us we've all made it here, um, you know, because they saw something in us. and. You don't have to get up there and try to hit it, hit it a mile. You just got to get up there and put the barrel in the place, and and the pitcher will do the rest. And it, it's it's been tough for me to kind of realize that that's really how it's supposed to work. Just because I've always tried to do way too much than I was supposed to, and I feel like if I can figure out how to just 
not do too much, then, then I'll have I'll be a lot better off. Hurt, hurt a lot.